Hey fam, hey. Finally got this off my crafting bucket list and made it. And so can you. Okay, this is an old drawer. I added some shelving and easy peasy and it looks amazing. I think it looks amazing. And then I used my new Scorch paint and added it to this Dollarama, this Dollarama box, and then added some color. You'll see how to do it. Made some more bee coasters, made a bloom sign, and I'm gonna show you how to do it too. It's gonna be a fun one. Let's go. DIY number one. Here's a before and after shot. I took an old drawer and I'm making a shelf out of it. I washed it down with some cred cutter. You gotta get all those greasy marks off, those greasy little paw prints. And now I'm chalk painting. I made this homemade chalk paint and DIY number two is actually how to make the chalk paint. So don't worry, there's a recipe and you can make it. It's so much cheaper, it's so economical if you can make it yourself. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I'm Sandy McKenzie, a lumber mill DIY. And yes, we do have a sawmill here. So on my channel, you see me doing lots of woodwork, DIYs, repurposing, some painting, some crafting, some Dollar Tree stuff. Yeah, lots of stuff going on. I took the hardware off the drawer, filled in the holes with wood filler. And then the next morning I woke up, didn't like the handle I picked out, changed my mind, and you'll see me getting the drill out and drilling the holes back in. I cut out two one by four white cedar out on the miter saw. Now I'm painting it. Yeah, there I am, drilling the holes back in the original hardware. Here, Hupster comes and checks it out, makes sure I'm doing it all right. Oh, whoa, oh, yeah, oh, you better move that. Oh, you need another hole. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's always got his two cents in there. And then, uh, oh, he's going to give it a little help there like let's let's hammer this in so now he's come in and he's decided that uh, you have to measure up from the bottom which is a good which is a good call so we measured up from the bottom and I put in some screws to um, I use my impact driver put in some screws and got it nice and sturdy here it is here I chalk paint the handles put them back on oh there's baby girl, my house hound in the background outside. So here it is with the shelves and the handles. Oh man, I think it looks great. Looks so good. So that was DIY number one. I'm so excited. I get to participate in Heidi Sambo's friend hop. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. There's going to be a bunch of channels and you hop from channel to channel. I will leave a link for the next person in the hop in my description and I'll pin a comment. Heidi is so good. She gives small channels like mine the opportunity to shine. and She also gives us a bunch of advice. She is one busy girl. She has four channels and her kids have a channel. So that's like five because you know she's probably doing helping them out. Don't forget to hop. Okay, right back at it. I'm making some homemade chalk paint. It's one part plaster of Paris, two parts water, and three parts wall paint, like a eggshell acrylic latex. 
you mix and store in a wide mouth jar. I like the wide mouth jar because I can fit a paintbrush in it. Chalk paint will get chunky. Don't worry, it's still good. Stir it up and keep using it. Like I've had mine for years on end. And then you can distress it with a sanding block or a wet cloth. I like to seal mine with polyacrylic so there's no yellow tinge to it. And I use a matte or satin finish. And there are more options. You can use like a Minwax paste, a wax, a clear lacquer, whatever your favorite is. Drum roll. Okay. Introducing my new Scorch paint. It is, I'm experimenting right now. And I've made this Scorch paint. It's like a jelly. And you stencil it on or you can paint it on. Um, you stencil it on and nothing happens. Jelly on a board, nothing. And then you activate it with heat. And the magic of science and art turns it into a wood burning. It is so cool. But like I said, I'm still, I'm still um, experimenting. And this torch is like overkill. Like it gets it almost too hot. Um, I'm too impatient for a heat gun. So I ordered a creme brulee torch. Um, I think that'll be the perfect torch for it. But I, but I'll give it a try, and you'll see it on my, on my website. So this box, um, I got from Dollarama. I'm from Canada, and yeah, I got this for four bucks at Dollarama, and it's just adorable. So this friend hop is farmhouse inspired, and that just hits home for me. I live on a farm, um, and the farm, the Mackenzie farm has been in the family since 1875. Yes, 1875. So we have many years of farming experience. Um, we're running, we're running a lumber mill, so a sawmill on the farm, and then we have fields that we have crops in. And there's also a bee apiary. My brother-in-law has his bees on our, in our side of the farm. So it's pretty cool. Um, you'll, you'll see some of my, um, you'll see some of the bees buzzing around. And, uh, yeah, just mm -hmm. wanted to introduce you to our, um, our little farm world. Okay, so here, um... I am getting back at it and I'm painting. I'm just using acrylic paint and I have a little bit of a glaze medium. I don't want a solid paint. Um, I just want like a wash of it. So I'm using, I'm mixing it with a little bit of glaze. And then I add some yellow ochre because I, I'm old school. I love yellow ochre. Who doesn't need a little bit of yellow ochre in their life? So, like I said, these projects, you're going to see um, my next project, too. The torching got a little bit dark with the, with the large, large torch, but... Well, you're probably all sick of me chatting away now. You'll see me finishing up DIY number four is um, some coasters, and it's the same technique where I did the scorch paint, and scorched it and painted it. Um, and then DIY number five is a bloom sign. Um, I took a piece of uh, white cedar. Our, we, our main wood here is white cedar, so you're gonna see me use a lot of white cedar. It's a piece of tongue and groove. And I sprayed a lot of water on it because I'm a water baby. I'm Aquarius and I am all about the water. So I sprayed it with water and I added with a chippy brush, I added a bunch of different paints and then I cut out a stencil on my um, Cricut and I stenciled it on. The secret with, with uh, stenciling 
stenciling is less is more. So have a real dry brush. Um, put your paint on your brush and then remove most of it. If you enjoyed today, smash my subscribe button, ring my bell, and come on back for more. I, if you missed last week's video, like Tuesday's video, you need to check that out. I'll leave a link up above. And also, I'm going to be releasing videos every Tuesday. I've got some amazing projects coming up. You do not want to miss them. Thanks, and thanks for all the new subs, but also thanks for my OGs. I see you guys giving me all that love and engagement. I'm, I really appreciate all you guys, and so much fun. Have a creative, inspired, and safe week. Love you, bye. Oh, yeah, don't forget to hop. <laughs>